shovels, in particular camping shovels. Hands up, who takes a shovel with them? I bet you majority of you do. If you don't, you should. Luke posted up a couple of, of photos about four or five days ago, giving a few hints on the Drifter Stockton Facebook page. But he's also sent me up one for review for free. Okay, I got this one for free. For free. Now there are two shovels in here. Now you might be thinking, you know, what size are these shovels? But yeah, we'll get to that shortly. But first I want to talk about a bit about this and how it came, came across. Most of you are carrying your shovels mounted up on your roof rack, using expensive accessories, actually if it's muddy or whatever, it drops mud down onto your vehicle or you store it inside the vehicle or you don't have a room to store a long handled shovel. And most of the time, to be honest, you don't actually use the shovel. What if there's a product that'll do all that? It's got a long handle. It's also it's got some really cool other benefits. So just have a look at this bit of a preview video of it in use. Is that awesome? Did you see the way, different ways you can set it up? Such as example, like a chippo. So let's have a closer look at this. There's two shovels in here. So Drifter Stockton, Luke has come out with a, a dunny shovel, as well as your standard shovel, long handled shovel. So it comes with this bag. So this is included. It's specially designed bag. I spoke to Luke yesterday and he specifically told me that he designed this bag himself. Should always carry a dunny shovel with you. You know how we've been talking about respect the bush. I've got one of the respect the bush bags here. Part of the respect the bush ca campaign. Unfortunately, a lot of campers leave their rubbish behind. Have you been camping to places like on the beach it's got no facilities, a national park, anywhere like that. And as soon as you walk away a camp a bit, or sometimes even in a camp, your campsites are just drawn everywhere with toilet paper. So there's really no excuse for that, guys. So if you bring something like this along, you can easily dig a little hole, do your business in the hole, use some toilet paper, ideally, once you've digged a hole, light the toilet paper, so animals and foxes or dingoes, etc., can't dig it up again, and then cover it up. It's gonna go a long way to keeping these places open. So what you do is you fold this out. See how you got that fit in there? So that pulls in and out. See how that's pulling in and out there? So that's how you store it away, like so. Then you pull that, you pull that in, and then you adjust it, like so. Okay, lock it in place, turn the handle, and that's it. That's solid now. These are very heavy duty. The handle comprises of, in fact, the handle actually also packs down even further, if you wish. So if you're really caught short on space, or even for you backpackers out there. It's got a nice handle. So the grip is great. Now, aluminium. Stainless steel. This is built to last. This is heavy duty, guys. Heavy duty. Check that out. Drifter Stockton. Now Luke's, Luke's currently selling these separate but he's going to do up a, a package deal he's going to work on a deal that includes both the shovels and the other shovel i'll show you shortly so keep an eye on those package deals but at the moment these these shovels are available from any of the drifter stores okay apparently any of the drifter stores in australia have got stock i want to show you a feature here which you saw on that little video I did before when my mum was chipping 
the front yard there. So we, we unscrew this, pull that in, pull that in, just so, just so it clips in place, screw back in. Now we've got like a little chippo. So how often, look at that, how often you come to a bit of ground that's really hard and you want, instead of using a shovel, you just dig a hole this way, break the top of the ground up. And not only this, guys, this can be used for around your home as well. A little garden, if you've got a garden with the top bed and so on, you've got a little garden, you can dig, you can dig away. Stainless steel, aluminium. Let's just go through and show you again. And that's how you store that. So the handle slides through, and that's how that's stored. Stores as simple as that. And as I mentioned before, for you backpackers, this handle here extends off. And you could also store that in here as well. Look at that. Let's have a look at the one I'm really looking forward to showing you guys. So I want to show you the bag. Now Luke specifically designed this bag for these shovels. You've got an end piece, short piece, extension piece. And then we've got the shovel, solid, very strong. This is very heavy duty. Look how thick that is. Just get that to focus. Look how thick that is, guys. Gives you an idea. That's the thickness of that. And have a look in this end here where it screws into. Just hit that focus. Now the shovel, it's got its own protective cover as well. So it's the same principle as the other one. Undo the Velcro and the shovel head just slides out. Keep the Velcro on, <laughs> like so. The way this one works is slightly different to the other one I just showed you. Remember the other one I mentioned, you unscrew, pull that lever back, find a position, then screw it to lock back in. This one you don't need to unscrew. All you do, is you've got like this spring-loaded clip here. Okay, see how that's moving there? So you've got your couple of positions. That's the chippo. All right, that's your, there's some really good benefits of that I'm gonna show you shortly. And that's a shovel. So you can quickly change from chippo to shovel. How cool is that? Again, quality stainless steel. The Drifter Stockton emblem emblazed into the stainless steel. Very heavy duty handle. Some of you are going to say these are not new products. Luke specifically designed this and changed the design specifically for our market because he didn't want all, all the extras on them. If you have a look overseas and some of them, they got like a saw along here and another one's even got like a cutting blade along here. Now, this is a shovel. It's designed to be a shovel. Having the saw and the cutting blade or block an ax along here is only gonna potentially damage your shovel. So we got saws that we use to cut. We got a shovel, hence shovel, that we use to dig. We got an ax to cut the, t the timber. So you don't need an all-in-one unit. So Luke's cut it down. Now also, those units generally only come with the one extension, this one here. And that's it. And that's what you, and that's what you get. So I spoke to Luke yesterday and he told me that he, he got this one manufactured, made up. So as you can see, now this has turned that compact unit you've seen in the bag into a very nice long handled shovel. 
which means you don't have to store it outside your vehicle all the time. You don't have to use expensive locks like the racks, tracks or something like that or your Pioneer roof racks and so on, mounts, you all know how expensive they are. And then you've got to add a shovel cover, etc. And when you use it, it drips down and so on. You get sand all over your vehicle or worse, mud just dripping constantly on your vehicle. This here you can store in your four wheel drive drawers all the time. And remember this feature. Okay. You know when you get bogged, most of you use a shovel. Boom. Like so. How cool it'd be. Why don't we start using chippos instead? Because the idea when we get bogged, we want to move that sand away from around the wheel. And we want to do it quickly without too much effort. So the shovel, you pump, bang, pump, pump, bang, pump. Yeah, it works fine. But guys, being a farmer, don't we owe chippos for so many years? And Luke agrees with me. This would be perfect just to get in there, chip all that sand away. So you can see it here go like this. You can get this done really fast, guys. Instead of going. <laughs> all right. So that's the beauty about that. And then when you want to go back to use your shovel, look at this. How quick is that? <laughs> Let me tell you, these are well made too. This is going to last you a while. If you can see how thick, it's got a nice rounded points off around the side. And you can see how thick the main unit is. She's solid this. It's awesome. So, you're under a good thing, Luke. Excellent. Luke told me as of last night, each drifter stocked and drifter stores in Australia have got currently got these in stock at the moment. So what you see here guys, you can't get anywhere else. So basically, drifter company, 20 years experience in the four wheel drive industry. And those 20 years experience has led to product like this. So this has gone through three phases. So what, what that means is that Luke's got, got onto these, got the first batch said to him, didn't like something, so he tweaked it, sent it away for the second batch, came back, tried them, tested them out, wasn't 100% happy, got very close, so he tweaked it again. And this is the third batch. These had just arrived. So thanks Luke for giving me the opportunity to do the first review on these. And I think they're, they're brilliant, I think they're great. So this is gonna be the final protocol. So there's a lot of research, a lot of testing gone into this. So it's not like Luke's just bang, found something overseas, bring it in straight away and just sold it off without checking. So thumbs up for doing your research and improving on a product a great product, but it's actually made it a lot better. So do yourself a favour, get out to a Drifter Stockton store near you or a Drifter store near you and check these out. Good, strong, heavy duty zips, as you can see, that work freely all the way around. So we're going to talk about these zips in a future video actually coming up soon. Let's grab the tape measure and run a tape measure over this. We are talking 57 centimetres, 23 centimetres, including the dunny shovel inside, you're looking about two inches. This is so compact, just leave it in the bottom of your drawers all the time or beside your fridge slide. Not only can you use these camping, you can use them around the house as well. The two, two jobs in one, it's a shovel, it's a chippo. Chippos, believe me guys, are very good. 
you can dig all your weeds out in your garden etc thank you before the rain gets heavier starting to shower a bit thank you for joining me today i hope you enjoyed that video and if you watch right through the end thank you big thumbs up and please subscribe it'll help my channel enormously if you can hit the little bell icon and that'll send you a notification when a new video comes up so keep an eye out it's going to be some more new exciting products that's going to come out in the future and of course i'm going to be checking them out so till then cheers look after yourself and be kind